Welcome back, Cougs. I'm Alexander Huddleston. And I'm Damian Alvarado. The Washington State football team had their pro day Monday. 31 NFL teams sent their scouts to watch 12 Cougars participate in a variety of drills and tests. The Rams were the only team not in attendance for Monday's pro day, where many of the guys excelled. So, Alex, I know you went. I was there as well. How do you think uh, the team did, and how do you, who do you think performed the best? Uh, I think the team did very well. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of players that... I feel, you know, exceeded a lot of expectations, you know, for the fans and, you know, themselves. Uh, I would say uh, Watson uh, was a player definitely to watch. Lucas, I, both of them, I feel like, really increased their draft capital. Uh, and Max Borgie, I mean, he's running on a hurt ankle and still, you know, performed at a pretty good level. So I would, I would, I would say watch those three. Yeah, and then uh, Max Borgie was telling us in one of the player interviews that he only had two weeks – or a week to prepare for this day mm -hmm. uh, compared to other players who had two months to prepare. And yeah. he said he was doing two months rehabbing that ankle injury. And like you said, you mentioned Jalen Watson. He, he did phenomenal. He showed his athletic ability having a 38-inch vertical as well as running a 4 4 9, uh, 40, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he, he did phenomenal. All these guys did great. And, yeah, I mean, Abe Lucas was looked at by which scouts? I believe it was the Browns, the Eagles, and the Cardinals. So, yeah. But, I mean, back to Borgie real quick. In that interview, they did uh, – I believe it was Gunner that actually asked the question, or it was you, <laughs> about, uh, yeah. you know, as a GM, what would you, how would you pre present yourself? And one of his main things was that he's hungry. He's pissed off. He wants, he wants the GMs to know that he's, you know, he's still relevant. He's still part of the conversation in the running back room. And so, I mean, we've seen these guys, and, I mean, they all excelled and did great, and it's going to be great to see where they end up in the draft. But as we look forward and move on towards the spring season for football, the team kicked off spring practice last Wednesday at 7 a.m. in what was Jake Dickert's first time leading the team as the official head coach. Expect this, expect this team to return a partial air raid style offense, which also features a tight end under new offensive coordinator Eric Morris. WC will practice through April 21st before hosting the spring game on April 23rd at 3 p.m. They will also have a scrimmage on April 2nd and the 16th. The baseball team is currently on a seven-game drought, sitting at an underwhelming 9-14. They recently were swept by Stanford and before that became the only WCU sports team to be swept by UW this year. Their upcoming opponents include a series against Utah and Arizona. Going back to last week, the Cougs defeated BYU 77-56 in the NIT Tournament quarterfinals, earning a trip to New York and Madison Square Garden. The win propelled the Cougs to the tournament semifinals for the second time in program history, marking this the first time since 2011. The Cougs went to Tuesday's game against Texas A&M with the 23rd ranked defense, allowing just under 65 points per game. Michael Flowers became the program's single-season three-point king with 100 makes on the year, passing Clay Thompson's 2011 record of 98. He has been on a tear in the NIT, averaging 19.3 points per game on 45% shooting. The Washington State track and field teams continued their fantastic season at the Buck Scoring Invitational at Whitworth University. In total, 23 Cougar athletes placed inside the top three and won 10 events altogether. There were also two records broken amongst all the hardware. Junior Skyler Walton won the 100-meter dash, running the sixth fastest women's 100 in WCU history with a personal record of 11.7 second times. Freshman Ronald Gaso Mascara set a Whitworth track record in the men's discus throwing 54.09 meters to claim his first win as a Coug. Sophomore Audrey Hughes won the women's discus throw event with a PR of 46.03 meters and then placed second in the women's shot put event with a toss of 13.99 meters. Both the men's and women's 4x1 teams took first place in their races. Deontay Schultz placed first in the men's 400 meter with a PR time of 49.58 seconds. And the women's hammer throw event, the Cougars not only got first, but earned second, third, fourth, and fifth place finishes. Sophomore Carolina Uloa Daza mounted the podium with a hurl of 56.06 meters. Cougars also leaped their way to first place in the men's and women's pole vault events. Sophomore Lucas Talon won the men's events by clearing the 4.52 meter height, and senior Emily Combs won the women's event with a mark of 3.92 meters. Junior Alina, Alina Williams won the women's 800 by setting the new PR of two minutes, 11.92 seconds in the event. Now, let's send it over to Luke Kilgore for his week's Cougar Outlook. 
What is up, Cougs? I'm Luke Kilgore, and this is your Coug Outlook. The WSU track and field team are coming off of a spectacular performance at the Bucks Scoring Invitational in Spokane to start the outdoor season. Winning 10 total events with 23 total Cougar athletes placing inside the top three. The squad is splitting up once more this weekend with WSU competing at the West Coast Relays in Fresno, California on Friday and the Stanford Invitational Friday and Saturday on the Stanford campus. After a loss against Oregon on Friday, the WSU women's tennis team will look for redemption in the City of Angels. It's against USC on Friday. They'll be sticking around L.A. on Saturday, too, facing off against UCLA. Finally, after a quick trip to Provo yesterday, the Cougs baseball team is coming back to Bailey Brayton Field to host a homestand against the Utah Utes. Luke, Wazza Sports Network is on Twitter and Instagram. Follow us at Wazza Sports Net and Wazza Sports Network. Plenty more WSN content is on the cable at YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Alexander Huddleston. And I'm Damon Alvarado. Have a good week, and we'll see you back here with more sports updates from Wazoo Sports Network. Oh,